Hi, my name is Ricardo Oliver. I come from Mountain River. Today I am interviewing my brother. Do you want to tell us about how you've been doing? Hi, my name is Michelle Wallagrang. I'm from Robinson River. Uh, last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. While I'm um, doing a school, school based apprenticeship with SCOBE, I was working four days a week and uh, attending school one day a week. Start my day real early. Good morning, Misha. Good morning, Miss Anna. Get up at 5.30. I am, only because I take a long time and I have breakfast. Yeah, it should be alright for the day. Yeah, what did you make? Uh, just a few sandwiches. That time told me I should do the drilling and cutting, which is seven, and um, we, we're allowed to cut for or drill for like an hour. I'm saving up for a car and um, hopefully um, my own flats or apartment by next year. Or... Uh, good afternoon, I'm Misha. I'm from Robinson River. Um, I'm a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Uh, last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year 13 student here at Jarara College. Last year I was a year First, um, I grad game for Westies was um, pretty special for myself, and um, yeah, that's how I got to know Jeremy, and yeah, things went on from there. And we're looking for some new apprentices, um, and Matt, the company director, and I were talking about it, and um, your name did get get thrown up at yeah. the time, and it was like, you know, I think he's got a lot of potential. He's from Robinson River, you know, we know yeah, it's a great yeah, community. Yeah. We've been working up there for good, yeah. three or four years there now. Uh, then later on in the year, then I went home for a funeral. Then I got caught up in some ceremony up there. Uh, late December, JD gave me a call, told me that, that the Eagles um, want me to train with them for two weeks. And I then went to Darwin, flew to Adelaide for two weeks, trained with the Eagles. They liked what they saw and they invited me back for this year to take on a role at the club as a defender. Hello, my name is Agnita Woolagreen and I come from Robinson River Community, which is 1,600 k's north of Alice Springs. I used to be a student here back in 1993, and I like I used to like coming to Urara College. It's a place where we learn because um, education is the key. My sister, my brother, and myself was boarding at Jarara College. And then um, later on, we started talking to our children and telling them about Jarara College and what a great school it was. I remember he traveled to Jarara on the day he turned 30 on the 29th of January. When he left, it was, it was really hard. It was really um, heartbreaking when he jumped on the plane. And I said to mom, it's all right. You have to get used to it, being away from home. I know it's going to be hard for him, but he's going to get used to it, and it's, I just hope he's set it and continue on his journey. The Woodville West Torrens Eagles then invited me back as a full-time defender. Hi, I'm Mabel Woolgrain. I'm from Robinson River. I came to visit my grandson and hope, you know, seeing him now and then come back to Robinson because we worry about him a lot. He's the only one quiet one in the mob. <laughs> but he always keep us happy. Not with his other brother, you know, they, he loves playing football. Twin one. And he loves footy too, you know. He said football is, he really loves, Misha really loves playing footy. And he said that he might be going to Adelaide at the end of the year. So he just told me. And I said, I don't know. Yeah. After you, made me feel proud, you know, when you go play football a long way from me. Gloria McCutrenja presented her very first solo radio show last Saturday at ACCC Community Radio. To play in the sand full, you have to have a health fund, and to do that, you have to have a job as well. And uh, the club has helped me to get a job as a mechanic apprentice at our Moon team one of the club's major partners and uh, one of the biggest steel ships in Adelaide. 
I still you know, feel a bit sad losing my son. Just once you once you lose your family, I, the love you stays in your heart forever. Until you get old. That's what I always think of my son every day, you know. But the only time I get happy when I ring me up, talk to him. Ah, oh, Grandma, what, what, what are you doing there? No, I just want to talk to you. He want that make me happy. Talk to him, have fun on the phone, you know, laughing and all that, you know, tell me yeah. funny stories. <laughs> um, maybe every time I, you know, tell us about something real good, you know, yeah. I played footy today, you know, got best on ground and said, oh, yeah, that's good, you know, make, make, make her happy, you yeah. know, make her smile and that, yeah. Can you tell us how your week looks like for you? Oh, it's full on. Um, so I start work, you know, at 8.30 in the morning. Um, so to do that, I've got to get up at like 6 to get ready. Then by 7.30, catching the bus. Uh, catch two bus, one to Port Adelaide and Port Adelaide to work. So that's, that's the morning. And I train five days a week. So I'm um, footy training Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And our weights training Tuesday and Thursday. He goes fishing, he always comes with a good barrel. Um, I was always the lucky one, I reckon, but yeah, yeah. not to mention I'm real good, you know, handline and that, but yeah, just one of the best feeling catching the barrel, yeah. I arrived five o'clock at the Woodworth Storms Football Club to start training at 5.30, and training finishes at around seven o'clock, so it's an hour and a half session. Once training's done, um, I then catch a bus into the city and then another bus from the city home. Uh, I get home around 8.30, quarter past eight, so yeah, it's full on. That's why I get home and food's waiting for me, so that's good, yeah. Playing for you far from home must be hard. How do you get support? I told my family for not supporting me and they're always giving me a call and they tell me that, you know, the sky's the limit and, you know, just, yeah, wake up to your potential and, yeah, just, you know, kept coming, kept pushing every day and, yeah, just got to where I am today. Oh, well, uh, club has been amazing and um, Jed as well has been unbelievable. He's um, helped out and he's helped a lot with my footy. Um, yeah, uh, get, get support. And a heap of support at the club there, and not only the club, but Jed's family as well. Uh, Jed's sister, her name's uh, Heidi. She she's been amazing as well, and Jed's mum, um, she's she's been unbelievable as well. And I get home at like 8:30 at night, and you know dinner's already waiting, and so that's been you know great for myself because you know as a, as a as a young fella, you know with the amount of training I've been doing. Just find it you know, really tiring at the end of the day, but you know, get home and you know, dinner's already waiting, and yeah, that's, that's it. And um, yeah, the coaching staff at the club have been amazing. You know, they've they've helped a lot with my footy this year. You know, and there's heaps to learn, and because um, I haven't played footy at that level, you know, the boys there, uh, you know, help me become a better footy player, and you know, not only the club and the boys, um, Jed as well and um yeah just just can't wait to see um what lies ahead and uh you know this year and not only, not only this year the next couple of years to come hey, um, on behalf of all the boys here i just want to say thanks for coming out boys it's been a pleasure to have you here yeah hope to see you soon and see a few of your boys on the field next year so, yeah good luck <laughs> and I'm proud of what you're doing. I hope that the younger ones will look up to him and look at how he's got, how he's been, what he's been going through, and that when he, especially when he talks to them and tells them, encouraging them to stay in school. We're really sad to leave him because me and his mother won't see him again maybe next year. But he always be in our heart, you know, wherever we travel, even to Queensland and back from Queensland to Territory. 
while I'm in Dumaji, I always think of him. And everyone asks me in Dumaji. He's a handsome man, he's a very sensible man in his brain, he's, you know, he got a better job there. Everyone in Dumaji couldn't stop asking me about him. I'm gonna ring him up. I crowned the fountain and he said to me, Grandma, I'm right. I'm a grown-up boy there, I'm a grown man there. I'm, I'm 18 years old. And I said to him, well, I still love you, because I love you from when you was a baby. That's the sort of thing that makes me feel happy inside of my heart, I feel proud.